Welcome to a tech tutorial regarding system IO and using tags and workflows. And I'm going to show you a specific example of how to use tags and workflows. The possibilities are literally endless, but hopefully this will give you a bit of an idea on how I do things, give you some framework, and then you can implement it as you see fit. So basically there are four different tag types that I typically create and the first one is a lead which means that's somebody that has downloaded a freebie also known as a lead magnet of some sort and that is somebody that is just gave me their email address basically then there is a student which is somebody that has bought a course of some sort or in some cases it could just be somebody that I'm giving them access to a course because I may decide to give somebody a course for free. So just a student, that will be a type for that. The third one will be an import. An import is simply if you have moved your email list from elsewhere, for example, if you've moved from Kajabi, like I have, to System.io, or you have moved from another email marketing software like MailerLite or GetResponse, then you would mark that as an import and I'm gonna give you more examples I'm, I'm talking a bit theory and a bit high level first and I'll show you a realistic example in a moment the fourth type is a buyer and a buyer is somebody who actually purchased something now it could be a course it could be a service it could be something else so whatever it is they bought I label them as a buyer now the way I do it is I put the name of the lead magnet or the course or the product or the import location and in brackets I put the tag type i.e. lead, student, import or buyer. I'm gonna give you examples of that so let's just say somebody bought my YouTube SEO course I've got a YouTube SEO course then I will label that YouTube SEO buyer or if I'm importing somebody I might label it YouTube SEO student or YouTube SEO import and so on so it just depends on which type it is okay but I usually label at least one of them so I kind of know what they are and then I know it's not I don't just do like an ebook for example because it's like well which ebook right so I actually choose the name of the product or the course or the lead magnet and then I put in brackets the if it's a lead student import or buyer so now here I'm gonna give you a realistic example I'm gonna go through, through three steps the the scenario that I'm doing is I have had 20 plus people make a purchase of a template, a website template, and they bought it from my Kajabi website. And now I need to give them access to a course in System IO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tag for that course, and then I'm going to create a workflow to trigger access to the course as soon as a contact has that tag included and then the third thing I'm gonna do is import the CSV the list of the people and add the tag so basically as soon as I add the tag it will trigger the workflow to give them access to the course so let me share exactly how that looks in system.io first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a tag so you go to contacts and then you click on tags and then you'll be right here You'll notice that I have different things. So with some, for example, when somebody bought a one-on-one -on -one tech session with me, done with you, I label it as a buyer, brackets buyer. If somebody bought my DIY website 14-day challenge, in brackets buyer. If somebody subscribed to my masterclass, I did a masterclass in January 2020, I label it as a lead because they subscribed. They, they just do my email list through registering for the webinar, as an example. If somebody bought my YouTube SEO, again, they're labeled as a buyer. This one is an example of an import. So I did it a little bit the other way around, but basically I did a giveaway in Christmas 2021 and I imported the email list from King Sumo. Here is my .com truth members from Kajabi and I imported all the buyers to System.io. So that's labeled as import. I had a Zoom a virtual networking event and I imported that email list as well. 
you get the idea. So now I'm going to create a new tag and I'm going to call this tag dog trainer template Zenlo template and then I'm gonna call this student now I'm gonna click on save and you'll see it probably will tell me that it's too long it has to be less than 32 characters so I'm gonna have to delete some so I'm gonna call just dog Zenler template student because it's just shorter and that should work okay so now I'm going to next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to workflows and going to workflows simply click right here on automations and workflows now I'm going to click on create and I'm going to call this dog Zendler template course so I know exactly what it is now when I'm in workflows I'm going to have a few options. So first of all, I need to activate it, but before I activate it, I'm going to edit it. So here I'm going to create the first trigger, and the trigger is when the tag is added. So I'm going to find it like this, click on create, and then I'm going to basically create an action. That action means enroll in a course. Then I'm going to choose what is the course, and this one will be this course. Click on create, and now as soon as somebody, as soon as I add a tag like this, they will be sent this course. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send them an email, and I'm going to create a new email subject line is going to be puppy power course um, puppy power template customization course is here now I'm going to say ten, um, save and edit email puppy power is the name of the template now here I'm going to say hey and then sub and then um, first name thanks so much for your patience as I was completing up the video course to show you step by step how to customize the new Zendler template that you purchased. This is the course for the Puppy Power course. I am moving on to creating the sales page template for reframing reactivity. Next, but Puppy Power has been installed on your website already and you can go ahead and log in to customize it in alignment with this video course in case you're not seeing the template or not sure where to look please reply to this email and I'll send you a short video tutorial um, recording to show you if the template isn't installed actually no that's fine there is a couple that's not installed but I'll take care of it you can go ahead and log in and get started A separate email was sent to you with the with the instructions on how to get into your course portal. Look 
looking forward to your feedback. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to click on save. And now basically I have two things. I add the tag and the first thing is this email gets sent and they get enrolled in a course as well immediately. Okay, so that's the two actions. Now I'm going to exit and I'm going to activate, which is this button. Click on confirm and that's done. Now that that's done, I'm going to also, uh, one thing I will do also is just change the settings here. I'm going to call it Poppy Power because it's more specific. And that's more accurate because there's going to be a couple of others. Now I'm going to go to here and I'm going to upload a CSV file. And the CSV file is the one that has all the names that I've just exported from Kajabi. I'm going to leave it as comma and now I'm going to find the correct tag that I just created. Now if I can't see it, all I got to do is just refresh this page and you will find it after I refreshed it. So here you go, dog Zemo template student. Actually, I changed the name for it just to make it a bit more clearer. And this one is Poppy Power Template. Now I'm going to upload the CSV, which is this one. Click on Open. And then you will see that I'm going to have the options of choosing the name and email of the grid so I can choose which one is which. Okay. So you'll see it right here. So what you see here is this is the grid details and this is the matching details on system import. So you can see that first name, uh, last name is last name, first name is first name, and there is no full name, so I, I don't actually include that, uh, but that's okay. And that's pretty much it. I, I don't really care about additional details per se, so that's all I'm gonna do. Now but that's all done, I make sure that the tag is clicked as well. And also, I can also create a tag to say that this was an import, but in this case, it's okay. I'm not gonna go there right this second. I'll just leave it like that. Now, if I scroll all the way down, you'll see a button called import, and I'm gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna show you because it's gonna show you all the emails of the people, but I'm just gonna click on import and then show you what happens. Now that I've clicked on import, you see the import right here and it's showing that it's in progress. It says no invalid rows and I'm just waiting for it to be done. A few minutes later, you can see that now 23 out of 23 is completely done. And now what will happen is basically they will all be triggered access to the course. A couple of things you will see. I'm in somebody's account that I just imported and I can see that they were sent an email literally just now and that a tag was added. And now I can go to the course area, which is clicking right here on courses, pick the course, which is this one. And if I click on students, I will see all the people that I have enrolled and they are automatically inside the course because that is the exact automation that I set up inside the workflow. So that is how you use the tags and workflow to automate different processes 